How's right, going guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about the names for all the rest of the episodes of The Walking Dead Season 3. Alright, so a few of my subscribers mentioned this and uh, thumbs it up for me to do a video talking about it. Sort of just going over the names of the rest of the episodes, analyzing and coming up with some ideas about what I think they could mean and what might happen. As you can see, first off, I got my lighting fixed. My lights, uh, I burn out lights pretty quick back here since I spend so much time. So there was like a shadowing effect going on in my doorway. People were thinking maybe that was a walker or something coming to get me. But it's good. Fixed it. So that's good. So hopefully the lighting will be better now. You guys don't have to worry about that anymore. It shouldn't, shouldn't become a problem again. Uh, all right. So let's get right into it. Without further ado, I'll put the link in the description. And these names are from Zap to it that's the name of the website uh, you can click it in the description and see the names of the episodes and um, I don't know 100% if they are confirmed or not uh, I don't know how reputable this website is but uh, they were on Wikipedia which again anybody can edit w Wikipedia it's not you know an official source and this is not official from AMC but from what I've heard and what most people have heard this is um, legit so we'll treat it as such. Uh, okay, so we'll start from the top. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, the next episode, uh, The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 9, is called The Suicide King. I've done quite a few videos about it already, talking about it, doing uh, you know predictions and all that. So if you're interested to hear what I think is going to happen in The Suicide King, um, go ahead and watch one of those. It'll be a lot more in detail. Just to summarize real quick, I think that uh, Rick is going to go back and save um, Daryl, uh, Merle, bring him back with him. Glenn's going to flip out that Merle's coming back with um, Daryl, of course, because of what Merle did to him. And it's going to be kind of chaotic, but they should all get out of there alive and head back to the prison, at which point um, Glenn's going to be so pissed off and going to want to kill Merle. And Herschel is probably going to be mad at Rick. Um, there's a few other things too, but uh, to see my in detail predictions, just go watch that video instead. Next one is The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 10, which is called Home. Okay. Now this one I've also kind of done some predictions for. Uh, the episode description says, The group debates the next step. Rick searches for a lost friend. Daryl and Merle question their choices. The governor restores order. Okay, so Rick searching for uh, a lost friend and the episode title being Home. I think we're going to see the return of um, Morgan to the show, I believe. At least I think Rick's going to be searching for him and I think he'll probably find him. Um, so again, I've done a video on that. If you want to see that, go check that more in detail. So that's what I think about Home. The next one, episode 11, is called I Ain't a Judas. Um, the description for this is Rick and the group must make a choice when security is threatened. Andrea grows uneasy. So maybe the beginning of the battle between uh, Rick's group and the governor's group and Andrea kind of being caught in the mix in between, having to make some choices about what she's going to do and who she's going to fight for. Maybe finding out about Shane. I think that'll be really interesting if they go that route. They probably should because if they don't, that'd be a big waste, you know, because she was pretty close to Shane, a lot closer than a lot of the other ones, and they were even talking at one point about leaving, which maybe they should have done, at least for Shane's sake, they probably should have. Um, Next episode. Now here's where the descriptions cut out. So there are no descriptions yet for the rest of these episodes I'm going to be going over. The next one is called uh, Clear, which is episode 12. So that's it. It's just called Clear. Um, I can't really think of anything that uh, that we would be able to predict just based on that. You know, um, that by itself. Yeah, I, I can't really, I can't really make any predictions based on what will happen in that episode just by the uh, just by the title alone. It's not enough. The next episode, uh, Pale Horse, is episode thirteen. So, hmm, Pale Horse again. I don't know. Maybe something to do with Herschel. Maybe something to do with uh, with the farm or with uh, them. Maybe trying to plant some seeds to grow food at the prison or something like that. I'm not really sure. 
But um, that would make sense. Now, this one I thought was really strange. Episode 14 is called Killer Within Part 2. That's really strange. Um, again, I don't know if these are legit because I think that's a weird uh, name for an episode. Because that, to me, would just scream like uh, someone at the prison killing some of the people within the group or you know, also at the prison. And possibly a couple people in that episode um, dying. Um, or maybe the beginning of that. The next episode, episode 15, is called This Sorrowful Life. Okay, and um, if you guys don't remember uh, or haven't read the comic book in a while, um, one of the trade paperbacks is called This Sorrowful Life. It's the last one, I believe. Is it the last one? No, that's Made to Suffer. This Sorrowful Life, I think, is uh, one of the trade paperbacks in which Rick, um, you know, goes through some of the most pain in which uh, which he would go through in the entire uh, entire series. So um, that's kind of interesting there to see what will happen with that. Maybe they'll do some kind of switcheroo, and um, he won't like that. Might not be the end of um, the governor's battle with Rick, but I think we can pretty much guarantee that. Based on that name, we're going to get at least a couple character deaths in the series. And also, um, the the director for that episode is Greg Nicotero. And they get him to to uh, direct a lot of the um, the episodes when, when they have people die. So there's a potential that maybe that could uh, there could be at least a couple character deaths. It's going to be the end of the season, so... We kind of know they're going to be anyway. Uh, obviously, a lot on the side of Rick. At least probably two to three. I'd say at least two or three. Um, and then the final episode is called Welcome to the Tombs. Welcome to the Tombs. So I don't really know what you can um, what you can derive from that. I mean, Tombs, obviously, a lot of probably, a lot of character deaths in the uh, in This Sorrow for Life and Killer Within Part uh, Part 2. So I'm thinking probably two or three character deaths within 14 and 15. And then episode 16 will kind of be sort of similar to season two where you just have the group either leaving the prison or, um, I don't know, maybe still staying there but just kind of dealing with all the characters that have died or at least uh, a couple of them or a few of them. Now, the big, I think, topic here uh, within the rest of this season is whether or not the governor's story arc from the comic books is going to end at the end of the season. So whether or not the whole Rick at the prison with his group, the governor at Woodbury with his group versus each other is going to come to an end at the end of the season, or if this is just kind of like the governor strikes back, let's say, and then, you know, Rick's group loses a, a lot of characters. Like you have two, three character deaths or maybe more. Um, and then the governor's group is to leave or something, or Rick runs away or, you know, fights him off, but the governor's still there or something. This is going to be really interesting to see what happens at the end of the season. Um, I always thought, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, that uh, the governor's story arc should cover at least two seasons. If they do it in one season, that's probably going to be rushing things too much, and they won't be able to add in enough extra material to really differentiate it from the uh, the comic book. Even though they do things in a different order, I'd like to see more uh, added to it to make it even more interesting. So let me know what you guys think about that. It's really hard to say. I could see it go either way. The fact that we have the names for the episodes kind of, you know, I mean, This Sorrowful Life, Killer Within Part 2, at least sounds like in Killer Within, if they're going to call it Killer Within Part 2, I would assume that would be a character from within Rick's group again, killing other members of Rick's group, or in and around the prison, killing members of the prison. Otherwise, calling it Killer Within Part 2 wouldn't really make sense. And if that was to happen, I would say that it would make sense that, that uh, Rick's group and the prison, the whole prison governor story arc, will make it through into Season 4. Um, I think that's what I would lean towards. But, I mean, this sorrowful life, too, at the same time, it could also mean that, you know, that's like the end of the governor's story arc and they're wrapping it up and welcome to the tombs could be them running away or from the prison or something. Um, let's start doing some prediction, guys. I think that's all I really have to say. I always thought the governor's story arc would go through till season four. But uh, at this point, I don't even know. I mean, 
Let's talk about that. I think that's probably the most interesting thing. Do you guys think it's going to end at the end of the season, or do you think it'll go till the next season? Based on the pacing so far that they've set, it looks like it's going to end this season, but I hope it does pull through until the next season. So hopefully we get a few episodes with some other storylines and other things going on, and the battle between Rick's group and the governor's group doesn't commence immediately. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about them. Pretty cool the names of all the rest of the episodes. We'll do some speculation. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev. Same peace.